journal today, I'm going to start sprouting seeds for a second planting of zucchini, cucumber, and squash. As you saw um, in my previous journals, many of the squash plants are already starting to die. That's typical for this time of year. This is the middle of July, and most of my squash plants and zucchini um, produce well in May and June and then start to die out in July. Usually they're gone by August. The, I'm losing a lot of zucchini to the vine borer. They're getting into the actual vines and just destroying the plants. So if I go ahead and sprout new seeds, they may be th the bugs may be through their life cycle and then I'll have a second harvest. So we'll give it a try. I'm going to show you today my favorite um, way to sprout seeds. And what I use is this muffin container. Um, I got this from the store. It had muffins in it. And I use it because it's just exactly the right size. And with the lid, it traps the moisture inside so that I don't have to keep watering it and making sure that the seeds are wet. So what I do is I go ahead and I put in a paper towel and then the seeds that I want and then I add water. I only need a little bit of water, just enough to wet the paper towel. When I close the lid, it will trap the moisture in. So even if I set this outside, which is warmer than inside, to help the seeds sprout, the hot weather won't cause the evaporation. Also, if I know I won't be checking it for a few days, I can add more water and tilt it up a little bit, setting it on something so that most of the water runs down to one end. Because the seeds are trapped in between two paper towels, that pool of water in one end of the container will keep wicking up the paper towel and keep the seeds just right. It's been 48 hours and it's time to check and see if anything has sprouted. Here we go. All have sprouted within 48 hours. So we'll go put these in cups. using these tall fast food drink cups because it will allow the roots to go deep but it won't take a large amount of dirt. I don't expect these seeds to stay in these containers for very long. As soon as they are up and have a few leaves and look sturdy, they'll go right out into the garden. So I just need something to hold them over, something that I can keep watered. I have regular garden dirt in the bucket. And then I have garden soil from the store. In the spring I use almost exclusively the garden soil because I know the seeds are going to stay in their, their containers for a few months. But here with the second crop I don't expect them to stay in the cups for very long. I'm going to fill each cup about half full of normal garden dirt. Now I'm going to mix the store garden soil with the soil I got out of my yard. This will give the seeds just a little boost, but won't make the roots dependent on the, the looser soil in the bag. I want the plants to be used to the soil in the yard so they will transplant easier. The zucchini seed sprouted well. 
but only one zucchini sprouted so far. We'll see how long it takes the rest of them to catch up. These I'll simply put back in the container and check tomorrow. Now that, now that I know they've started sprouting, I'm going to check them more often to make sure I catch them as quickly as possible. Of course, now I need to water these. So I know that so far I have one zucchini, two cucumbers, and two yellow squash. Since I know that they've already sprouted, I need to start thinking about where I'm going to put them in the garden and get that spot ready. Right now the seeds are just at the top, so I don't need to put much water in. The water naturally sinks towards the bottom, and I don't want it to get too heavy at the bottom and light at the top, so I just put a little in each day. You can also spray the top. Because I want the roots to go down and I know these have already sprouted, I go ahead and I pour a little more in. It's been three days since I started soaking the seeds. Yesterday I had some sprout. Today we have a few more. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing. This is still completely moist, the paper towel, so I don't even need to add any more water. I'll just cover them over again. Close the lid and that keeps the moisture in. And we'll wait and see what we have tomorrow. I'll go ahead and water these seeds. Keep them moist until they actually sprout. I put my new sprouted seeds with the old ones and noticed that this is day three and I already have a squash coming up. It's been only seven days since I started sprouting these seeds in my special container. They already have second and sometimes third leaves. So it's time to plant them. So here I have peppers on this side. I have tomatoes on this side. The tomatoes are starting to die back a little bit. So I don't know how long they'll last. I still don't want my new plant to encroach too big here. So I'm going to put a small yellow squash here. What I'm going to do is just cut the bottom off of my cup. Remember that I filled the bottom third with dirt roots never made it down that far. But they came pretty close. Here are the roots right here. We're going to try something here. There's already a cucumber next to it. The boss of the house said that he heard on a vlog that if you plant your zucchini or squash next to cucumbers, sometimes that prevents vine or pests. Don't know why, but there's no reason not to give it a try since we have a cucumber right here next to it that's doing well. So we'll go ahead and put this zucchini down here next to the cucumber. This is area four. It's the closest to my kitchen window. So I want to put two yellow squashes here so that I can keep a closer eye on them. See when anything needs to be picked. So I'm looking in this area and I have bok choy and I have Swiss chard going to seed. I have carrots, and this is a weed. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out this area. I like to see how much I can fit into an area because I know I'm going to water this area anyway. had already gone down into that drier soil on the bottom. Just in seven days, they had all these roots. The leaves on the squash alternate. Here, this one is pointing this way. I'm gonna go ahead and put that facing where the sun is going to come up and hit it. I'm gonna try a yellow squash next to these beans. Last year when I had the squashes over here in the alley side of area one, they got mildewed leaves, but this is later in the season, so maybe that won't be a problem. We'll give it a try. I'm gonna turn it over, carefully take the bottom off. Sure enough, there are some roots that came all the way down to the bottom of the cup going to turn the whole thing upside down. going to face the new leaf, the second leaf, towards the sun. This soil here is nice and moist. I had moved away the sod, the uh, mulch. I moved the mulch away from this area to dig the hole. Nice and moist. Now I'm going to put it back to keep that little guy happy. This is area one. It normally gets the most sun, but I have a lot of tall beans back there. I'm going to go ahead and put two cucumbers in the same hole. I can always have them go up some of the poles that the beans are not using. Instead of cutting the bottom on this, I'll just take it off. And I can see that the cucumber actually had a root all the way down to the bottom. So in only seven days, we went from sprouting the seeds to putting the plants in the ground. We'll see if this second crop works. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for joining me.